The Honorable Minister for International Development and Pacific, His Excellency the Australian High Commissioner to Fiji, the Chair and the Executives of the Fiji Rugby Union, the Honorable Assistant Minister, PSU Ten Sports, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, members of the media. Bulavinaka and a very good afternoon to you all. Firstly, on behalf of the Fijian government, the Fiji Rugby Union, and all Fijians, we welcome you here in Suva, Honorable Minister. It's great to have you here at Albert Park. And you being one of the first fully vaccinated Australian to capitalize on the new COVID safe troubles arrangement which started from the 11th of November 2021. Your presence here, Honorable Minister, today will send a clear message to your fellow Australians and like New Zealanders that Fiji is open and is a COVID safe country to visit. I thank you and the Australian government sincerely for your continued support for sports in Fiji as part of the Vuvale arrangements between our two countries. I thank you for your support to the Fiji rugby and for the funding of Australian 811,000, which allowed our Fiji Airways Sevens team and our Fijian Sevens team to travel to Brisbane and to participate in the Oceania Sevens tournament. While the Fijian government supports and invests in the Sevens program through grants that supports the preparation and the welfare of players, participating in such a tournament was vital for the Olympic preparation for both our teams. And we are proud of the achievements of our Fiji Airways Fijian Sevens team in defending the gold medal and our Fijian Sevens team winning the bronze medal at Tokyo Olympics. And therefore, Honorable Minister, thank you so much for this great support. This is indeed a true reflection of the close Vuvale relationship between the two countries which was established by our Honorable Prime Ministers. Today, I believe you will be making further announcement and additional funding to support the Fiji Rugby Union through the Fijian tour participation in the Super Rugby Pacific, which kicks off on the 18th of February, 2022. I can see the excitement from the Fiji Rugby Union and the Fijian tour executives who are present here this afternoon. In fact, they have been discussing this to me as soon as I came here. Honorable Minister, the Fijian Tour's inclusion in the Super Rugby Pacific is huge and a game changer for Fiji Rugby. As this has been a dream for such a long time as it is the missing pathway link for Fiji Rugby. In the past, our Fijian Rugby players have had to move to New Zealand, Japan and Australia to be able to play their trade as professional rugby players and earn respectable earnings to be able to support their families in Fiji. But now with the inclusion in the Super Rugby Pacific, they will be able to stay home and become professional rugby players and earn decent salary to be able to support their families. This will change lives, Honorable Minister, and change rugby in Fiji forever. I thank you in advance for the support in this regard, and we look forward to further collaboration in sports diplomacy. I have also been informed that such support is not only focused on rugby, but on other sports as well. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to say all the best to our Fijian Drua, and we are looking forward to the 2023 when the Fijian Drua will return home 
and play most of their home matches in Fiji, allowing Fijian fans to come out and support them. Our servants have proved that nothing is impossible. So go the Fijian draw. Binaka and thank you. Can I say bula and g'day and it is wonderful to be with you here today um, on what is I think a very significant day um, for uh, our two nations and for rugby here in Fiji. Um, can I uh, thank you uh, Minister Bala uh, for your words, uh, for your welcome and uh, express my thanks to your government uh, for the very warm welcome uh, we have had since being in your beautiful country. Can I acknowledge the Assistant Minister Nagata? Can I acknowledge uh, John O'Connor uh, as, well as, um, as well as my good friend uh, Brian Thorburn uh, representing uh, the Drua and Fiji uh, Rugby Union? Uh, and I believe we have Jerry Tuai uh, here with us, do we? Welcome, welcome to you and uh, the legendary Sevens players. It's great to, it's great to see you and uh, uh, you guys are at the heart of uh, these great performances uh, by the Fijian Sevens team and Fijian rugby. So great to, great to have you here and can I acknowledge you and the amazing uh, performance uh, that you guys have put in, particularly at the last two Olympics. Uh, so congratulations. Can I say, um, Look, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big rugby fan and I, I make no apologies for uh, being a big Brumbies and Wallabies fan. Um, and, you know, we have, we have been graced by some extraordinary players from this part of the world and, and in particular Fiji uh, over the years in Australian rugby and uh, my, my wonderful provincial team, the Brumbies. And, um, you know, they have, as, as was pointed out, they have represented their country, uh, but in many cases they've had to go ashore, go offshore uh, in order to earn a living uh, and to have those kind of opportunities. And what we're going to see uh, with the Fiji and Drua coming into Super Rugby uh, is a fundamental change uh, in that. And that is a great thing, I think, for rugby in our region. We are going to see Fiji uh, continuing to shine and Fijian players who have been making such extraordinary contributions uh, continue, uh, but in a different way and be able to do so uh, from right here. Um, our support for uh, the Drua is a very practical example uh, of Fiji and Australia's Vale partnership formalised in 2019 to highlight our common bonds and shared history. And uh, I'm told around 25% of the world's professional rugby players are of Pacific heritage. Uh, and of course, a significant of those, number of those are Fijian. Um, and, you know, I talk about the Brumbies, names in, in the current team like Valentini, uh, previously guys like uh, Kurundrani and, and, um, and Radiki Samo and so many other great players who have come through have, have graced us, not just with their athleticism, uh, but with their decency. Uh, with their natural flair. Uh, the way that uh, Fiji plays rugby uh, is extraordinary to watch and I think the Drua are going to bring something very special and very different uh, to Super Rugby and I know rugby fans in Australia and New Zealand and all over the world uh, and in the Pacific will be looking forward to this. So uh, we've, through Pacific Oz Sports, sought to um, support uh, the development of elite pathways uh, for sport in, in the Pacific and um, it's great today to formally announce uh, the sponsorship uh, of the Australian Government through Pacific Oz Sports uh, for the Fiji Drua uh, to the tune of $1.8 million over the next three years. <laughs> we hope uh, to see uh, the Fiji Drua uh, going from strength to strength. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of young players uh, coming through in the team initially uh, and I think what we hope to see, and I'm sure what the Drua hope to see, is that so much of that overseas talent, so much of that talent that is playing uh, overseas in, in Europe and in Australia and Japan uh, will over time have the opportunity uh, to represent uh, their country uh, in the Super Rugby competition uh, played right here. I also look forward with you, Minister, uh, to the opportunity to... I, I want to see the Drua in Australia, but it'll be great to see uh, when they're able to be based uh, in Fiji uh, in a more permanent way, hopefully from 2023. So uh, this is a very, very exciting day. It's great to be uh, with you. 
I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing how they go. Um, as I say, I'll be cheering on the Brumbies as my number one, but I think as most Australians, uh, the Drua will be absolutely their number two. And I can tell you when they take on the Waratahs, we will be cheering very hard for the Drua, very hard, with particular vigour and particular passion. So I wish you all the best. I wish uh, the uh, the management uh, and all of the coaching staff and all of the players who are going to be part of this next exciting step uh, in this relationship uh, and in the in the journey, uh, the great journey and the proud journey that has been Fijian rugby. Thank you very much. Um, Hi, Commissioner John Fix. Mr. Praveen Bala, please. 